of Shanghai. Actually, the landmark view of Shanghai it is the Lu Delta of Shanghai. Viewing across the river, you would see the shinings of the lightnings of the famous pearls of the Orientals, and you could also see the Shanghai Center. All of the tall buildings, the skyscrapers of Shanghai, has been shining with a lightning. In fact, on our side, which is the right hand of Shanghai, you could also see that all the buildings has also been lighted up with the yellow nylon lights. So as a viewer, as a visitor, if you are visiting here, you are going to be wowed about this beautiful scenery. And this is also going to be a very unique lightning show. This year, we are celebrating the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China's founding and for Shanghai, we have built a very unique lightning show to celebrate the Communist Party's 100 years birthday. So we are actually at the debut of that lightning show and the official debut is going to start from the 16th of the 30th of the June until the middle of the July. So we are actually following the lightning show. So I think a lot of viewers have heard about the news and they are stationed here to view the beautiful lightning because they are expecting the wonderful and exciting phase of light and shadow. I am going to show you the beauties of these lightning shows because we have shooted some of the footage that is of wonderful spectaculars. We are going to show you the video clip of that show of light and shadow. So with the five bombards, bombardment that embarks the revolution of October, which unveils in China, so we are hearing the rhythm of the song of internationalism. So let's travel with the time flow to go into the deepest of the history. You could see the image of the conference room of the first CBC Central Committee on the 21st of the 19, 1921st. We have held the first meeting of the Communist Party of China. It's in box. It means the Chinese history and Chinese destiny is embarking on a new journey. If we look back into the previous histories, from the revolutions and the uprising in Nanchang and until the foundings of the People's Republic of China, we have worked through a long and dark night until this beautiful and light journey. On the 1949, the People's Republic of China was founded. It marks the standing up of the Chinese national people and the red flags of the five stars has also been flying across China. It means the whole nation has been ushered into the new era. So we are entered into the second chapter of this light and shallow show. It is being started with the rhythm of the red flag and the leadership of the Communist Party of China. The Chinese people gradually take the lead and become the master of their own destiny from actually deprivated to a fully developed society. The successful openings of the first bombs and the successful diggings of the oil fields through a hard work of the socialism with the industries the China has gradually built our own society and built our own industrial complex. The whole society has been turned upside down.
After the spraying of the reform and the opening arms, the Chinese people, following the leadership of the Communist Party of China, has started on a new journey to build the socialism with the Chinese characteristics. The return of Hong Kong SER and also Macau SER joining WTO, Beijing World Expo and Shanghai Expo, China as a weakening dragon sitting and resting on the oriental coast has been gradually rising itself up. And we believe the skyline has also been growing in Beijing and Shanghai. We are also going to enter into a huge, into a promising future as a nation. As a nation, we are going to sail through the seas and break the waves. Today, China has entered into the new era, and the whole nation has been stand up and build a complex industrial complex, and also we are going to become a strong player in the world. It is indicating the promising future of the world. After hundreds of years of the strugglings, the Communist Party of China has always has always kept it hard with the national people, and we are actually endeavors on a very good perseverance to spread our endeavor into the future striving process. And we are going to create wonders that is going to wow the world in the future. Shanghai is the birthplace of the Communist Party of China, and it is the initial cradle of the Communist Party of China. And for hundreds of the years, we have not forget the purpose of the build up of the Communist Party of China. The spirit is still going to direct Shanghai to throw up, uh, to break the throw the new blazers, and also going to start on the new journey for reform and opening up and economic development. So I think after you have visited this marvelous space of light and shadow, you, you are going to be shocked and surprised by the hundred years of the Communist Party of China. It is grandiose. It is splendid. Speaking of this beautifully and well-designed, show of the lightning. We have to mention the designer of this lightning show. We are here to invite Director Ding from the Shanghai's Metropolitan Planning Area. Um, so please say hello to our viewers. So dear viewers, it is really an honor to meet you up here on the evening, on the beautiful evening of Shanghai. I heard that this is actually the best spot to view the lightning show of Shanghai. They actually do the best view in place. We all know that the right hand has been stretched for 1.5 kilometers, and I believe the different views is going to affect the our way to view them. On the 1.5 kilometers of the right hand beach, I think we have a different spot for you to have a view toward the lightning show. If you are viewing Pudong toward Pusi, and if you are viewing Pusi, from Hudong, you are going to have different feelings. We are using several different words to describe this lightning show. We think it's cool, we think it's marvelous. How do you dis depict the themes of this lightning show? You have said it perfectly. This is actually a lightning show to demonstrate the elegance of the beautiful city of Shanghai, and we are also trying to catch up with the fashions with the international world. Different Asian groups have different 
interpretations towards life lightning shows. We have the element of the elegance. We also going to embrace the element of the use. So I'm going to discuss with Director Dean about the wonderful designs of the lightning shows. I'm standing here, and I think that you can see that this is actually a must visit for the tourists. So the advantages of the lightning is very huge. So I think one thing we must view, do you feel pressures? I am under a huge pressure. Shanghai is not only the cradles for the Communist Party of China, it is also the starting of the lightning shows because across the world, Shanghai Wai Tai is the first place to build this lightning show. And Shanghai's White Tan Beach is actually a must, a desire, a draw for people across the world. We have a very good foundation, and our designing team is under huge pressure by designing such a feast of lightning to celebrate the 100 years birthday of the Communist Party of China. All the light has been turned off. It is about to start for another round. So I am going to be joined by Director Ding to interpret the meaning of such a lightning show. At the very beginning, it is a gradual process. From the shadow to the lightning, we are trying to turn off the light. So now it is starting the first chapter. We have been divided the total lightning show into four chapters. The color of this chapter also differs. This themed lightning show is based on the 100 years journey of the Communist Party of China. It has been divided into four chapters. The first chapter is about the true blazing chapter. It is about the Communist Party of China has led the Chinese people to enter into the neoclassicism and that the song of internationalism is going to be the background music. We hope that through this lightning show, we have gradually fired up Shanghai as the leader for the Communist Party of China. Actually, we are sitting here to view some of the revolutionary pictures to be realized here. So we have put up some of the images and through a dynamism of all the words, pictures, we are actually demonstrating the important historic ch chapters for the Communist Party of China. So we could see that this marks the opening ceremony opening ceremony for the founding of the People's Republic of China. And we can see Chairman Mao is sitting on Tiananmen to announce the foundings of the People's Republic of China. We have entered into the second chapter, and I could see the main theme of the color has been turned into green. And I believe on the second chapter, we are using my country and I as the theme music to depict what was happening, what was happened during the construction period for the socialism. And we could also see some of the image for the first bombardment of the atomic uh, bomb in China. And we could also see the images for the first shelf of the crude oil in China. And this marks some of the achievement that we have been achieved during the constructive period for the People's Republic of China. This is a chapter of the history that we, are, we will never forget. And later on, we are going to be joined by Director Ding. So there is a lot of varieties of the lightnings. And there are also, also some of the use alongside the river bank. It is going to be a part of the lightning show. The show of light and shadow is featured on the different themes. We have added the little lightnings and also some of the art artistic lightning features. Through the change of the lightning and shadow, we are trying to put up the image of Shanghai and we are trying to depict the sky lightnings of the Shanghai. So we are entered into the third chapter that is to say the revolutionary period 
after the reform and opening up. This is actually indicating some of the achievements after the reform and the opening up. It includes the Beijing Olympic Games, Shanghai World Expo, and China's enter into WTO. This chapter is themed with the blue color. It depicts the historic journeys for the Chinese people to explore our development trajectories with the socialism. Now we are entered into the fourth chapter. It is called about the Chinese journey after the 18th National People's Conference. So under the theme, we actually want to talk about the Communist People's Party of China has led to the Chinese people into the new era and moving into future. What should we expect it? We are using a whole lightning and we have concluded this lightning show with the rat to indicate the future prosperous journey and we are using the songs to be sang with the Chinese patriotic patriotic songs and we could see a lot of tall buildings in Shanghai has been shooting out the laser lightning it is a very awe inspiring thing and on the night uh, on the sky it is gradually forming into different networks. Using the lightning as the different network, we are demonstrating Shanghai's people's initiation to not forget their f first purpose. I think that we are also going to discuss with Director Dean about the designs of the lightning beams. And sitting on the building, we could see that there are some of the words speaking by the general Secretary Xi Jinping, the people's city is for the people and of the people. And we should not forget our initial purpose. This is the last image of this lightning show, and this is actually marks the climax of the lightning show. And we are always going to follow the guide of the Communist Party of China. I think it is also going to be a moment where a lot of uh, photographers has been taken and so Dr. Dean, I think that you have left 30 seconds for the majority of the population to take photos together with it and we have used a traditional Chinese sound that where there is no Communist Party of China, there is not going to be the new China. So we are actually thanks. Dr. Dean for work us through this show of light and shadow. It is actually a show covers six minutes. So later on, we are also going to kind of invite Dr. Dean to share with us. Since we are standing here in the beautiful beach of White Han, the skyscrapers is very inviting. And I think that when you were designing the lighting, you might think about its space-based conditions for the river of Huangpu River, it has been blessed by the buildings and also by the built by the riverside. It is the architect with the European styles, while the Lu Jiazui, it is a modern building built by it. After the reform and opening up, we could see the modern building is having a dialogue with the compulsory building and across the Waitan area, we are quite familiar with the banks and there is a lot of released area. So if we look through this foreign style building, it has been a concentration, a gather up of all kinds of European style buildings. It is generating a very coordinated color, the color of red. The lightning of the white town is actually tops across the world. Shanghai is also the cradle for the lightning show across the world. So the lightning has started their first start. The lightning show has stopped their first industry, the first demonstration here in Shanghai. We were using this lightning to demonstrate 
the wonderful and beauty of Shanghai. For the traditional lightning, it has a lot of energy consumption. It is slow to be initiated. So in the year 2018, through a lot of technological innovation, we have replaced it with the LED lightning. And we have successfully achieved a single lightning controlling system, one rhythm together with three rhythms. So from upside to the lower side, it is, has all been initiated. So this is also the first chapter for White Hun. And it's, we are sitting here in the Pusi district. And we could see the ground building of the general customers. And I think the building with a red roof, it is the Heping Hotel. So it has a very coordinated color. All of them are red. And if you look into the other side of the bank, the feature is very different. I think that we have kept the foreign style of the building. That's the reason why we have adopted a very coordinated lightning. The Lu Jiazui is a area constructed after the reform and opening up. We are about to build it as a purpose area. And for Lu Jiazui, it is actually a gather up place for a lot of office buildings. For every single one of the building, it is going to be connected. And there is a lot of gather up for the security companies, foreign investment banks. They have also, they have actually put their Chinese headquarters there. So these buildings is being reflected through the lightning. So even if we are not enjoying the lightning show, we could also see this beautiful lightning of these high skyscrapers. Their lightning has their way of transparencies. So for the lightning in Lu Jiazui, the general building is actually what we call the most beautiful skyliners in Shanghai and across the different metropolitans in the world. It is also very unique and leading in terms of the sky linings. And I think that we have two kinds of linings. The first one is that we have converted the previous constructive building into the new center. We have always called Shanghai a city without lightning because it is no more like when we were a child. We have added some of the lightning to make it more colorful, more blinding, and we could see the pearl of the oriental. It used to be a very unique building with the lightning from its... It is actually pointing to the sky with a spare, spares. So for the oriental pearl, it is the first landmark building in Shanghai located in the Pudong Bank of Shanghai, although it is not the topest building, but we have given it the top priority in terms of lightning sharing. So only the Oriental Pearl has went through all kinds of the full lightning design. And for other different buildings, we have not a lot for these kind of lightning shows. All the buildings are the background for the Oriental Pearl. Oriental Pearl is the symbol of Shanghai. Oriental Pearl is also the reminder of Shanghai. We could also see the who sparrows, and we can actually turn this sparrow into every single color. But on other different buildings, we did not do that. This is actually showing the priority of the Oriental Pearl building. If we moving our camera into the three top buildings in Shanghai, so we can only want want to ask Director Ding to introduce us the building of trade and economic development next to it, the blue building that is the global financial center. And on top of that, it is the Shanghai Center. It is actually the topest building in China for the three buildings. From the view perspective, we belong believe that it is actually sits on the top in terms of our view.
and in the lightnings and for the designs, the building of the economic and trade, we have lighting up there top of this tower and for the Shanghai Center, since it's actually the tallest building, but we have trying to use a micro liners and it is actually demonstrating the future trajectories of the development of China and also the beautiful city of Shanghai. It is an ever-changing journey and we are moving upward forever. We could see that it is like a belt um, climbing toward the sky. So something actually ca captured my curiosity is that how many kinds of lights are being demonstrated in this lightning show. You have told me that some of this lightning is already originally being installed in the building. So professionally speaking, I think to my knowledge, it can be divided into several different categories. The first one is the internal building of these buildings. It is actually shining up the light to the on side areas and the second part of the lightning is what it is being attached to the lightning show and the third categories of the lightning is that we have also designed some of the shadow lightning and also the laser beam lightning and this is actually the first example in China to be used in outdoors the larger the beam is, the better the view is, but it is getting more and more difficult. So in China, we are actually using the 30 kilowatts or 40 kilowatts. But here, by combining this lightning together, we are also adopting 50 different Chinese own designs. Laser beam lightning. And this is actually the first time in China that we have adopted such a tool for the lightning. And if we are looking, looking into this show of lightning, we could feel the rhythm and we could also feel the dynamisms and also the ease it brings to us. And we have also found that across the river in the Puxiang, we have erected some of the marks to celebrate the 100 years history of the Communist Party of China and it also has been lighting up and this is actually a Shanghai design. Lightning marks in this is actually the largest lightning remarks to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. We have used a lot of technologies to control the lightning and shadowings and it can be gradually pointing to the different lightning, no matter at the day or at night. It is also going to be a feature for the Huangpujiang River. It is also going to be a one important feature. And we could also see this 100 number. It is actually celebrating the 100 years birthday of our Communist Party of China. When we were, you were designing this lightning show, I think that Director D, you have embodied a lot of way of thinking. The overarching concept, how did you generate that? Our lightning show, starting from the first year of the 2020, we started to design that. and. There are numerous people participating in that. So until today, after around a year, we finished this lightning. We were joined by the numerous lightning experts and numerous experts in the history of the Communist parties. And I think for the staff in the governmental institutions, we are working really hard to bring this lightning show to the public. It is a joint effort for the different fields, and I think that the theme is always follows the leadership of the Communist Party of China. It has depicted the 100 years of the journey of our nation, and it has also depicted the 100 years journey of our people. After view that, while viewing this recorded footage, we could see some of the uh, sheep floating on the rivers and we have seen some of the drones all performing at this night. And these two features 
two highlights. It also captured the views. So when we were designing this lighting show, to make sure the light, the contrast of the light and shadow become ever more stark, stark. we have designed the drone performance and also the performance of the shape on the river. And I think for the historic important moment, the drone performance is going to demonstrate itself and for the travel shapes, it is actually demonstrating the fun participations of the citizens on the river of Hangpujiang River. At night, you could see the bloomings of these shipments. And I think at night, you can also buy a ticket to have a view toward the beautiful sceneries in the Huangpujiang River. Definitely, it is very busy apart from these travel ships in the Huangpujiang River. Every day, it has been bloomed with all kinds of the cargo ship. Just as Director Ding has mentioned, the footage of the drones is also adding up the colors for this show of lightning and shadows. And as Director Ding has mentioned, this lightning show is actually a combination for a lot of talents and wisdoms. I think a lot of experts, the artists and engineers are a part of this design. Yes, apart from the designs of the lightning, the background music is being created by the young musician Luo Wei. To be, it is a theme music created by the musician, and we have created the historic inheritance of the Communist Party of China, and the, he has selected a few classic music to be re designed, rewrite, re recorded, and this has been a tailor made journey and music. Speaking of that, we kindly want to invite Mr. Ding together with us to have an interpretation of this lightning show from a music perspective. What is the feature of this lightning show? So we like, kindly like to let our director to show the footage of this lightning show. We are going to interpret through, through a musical perspective. So just as Director Ning has mentioned, we have invited some musicians to reinterpret the music, and we have quoted some of the historic classics. So after five bombardments, it reminds the official lightning show is started. The first chapter is using a a group of the course to see the song of internationalism. It is also meaning the Communist Party of China, just like a baby, is gradually growing. And it's also spreading the fire across the land of China. And it also indicates some of the hard fought period of the 28 years the journey of the revolution. And we are actually using the court music of the song of the internationalism from scratch to strong. And we are actually emphasizing the importance of the quartet and to give us some of the image of the great journey, and it also has depicted the war against the Japanese invaders, the war of liberation in the Chinese history. This has marked the foundings of the People's Republic of China. So we are using the song of my country and me to enter into the second chapter, and the music is becoming smooth. Under the leadership of the People's Republic of China, the people gradually becomes the master of their own destiny. So this is a song of celebrating the red flag. 
It is a very beautiful song. It is also a chapter for the expression of their own emotion, and it depicts the constructive period for the socialism. And we could see that the people is becoming the their the masters of their own destiny, and gradually they started to build their homeland, their motherland. This is the music called "On the Field of Hopes." It depicts the first chapter of the reform and opening up. Against this background music, we have achieved a very fruitful result after the reform and opening up. There are so many different fruits and historic events formed after the reform and opening up. Shanghai Expo, Chinese entry into the WTO, Beijing 2028 Olympic Games. This is music with brightness and with dynamism. And widely, we are entered into the fourth chapter. It is specially designed chapter for the White Hand. It is a special music created for the White Hand scenery. And followed by that, we should not forget our initial purpose. And we have invited some of the pop music group to sing for this chapter, and to compose for this chapter. And on the top of the building, we could also see some of the achievement that very quite. Uh, that is quite familiar to every single household. Followed by that, we are going to enter into the climax of this show of lightning and shadows, and this is actually against the background music of not forgetting our initial purpose. We will always follow the leadership of the party. This is actually speaks for the voices at the bottom of the Shanghai people's heart. They are, they we are always going to follow the leadership of the party. It is a music of great grand development. So this is going to be the end phase for this lightning show. So we celebrated long live the Communist Party of China, and there has been left for 30 seconds for the citizens and also for the visitors to take a photo, to take some of the photo. So just as Dr. Ding has mentioned to us, we have reinterpreted this whole lightning show in Shanghai. The wonderful and master way of thinking, no matter from the construction, the designs of the lightning, and also the music, Director Ding has led us to a lot of interpretations. So let's talk about the questions that the general public cares of the most. I think the lightning show has been planned to be shown at. From the 13th of the June to the 5th of the July, for the consecutive five days, there is a lot of visitors to the two different river banks. We are going to open up the river banks for the visitors, and we are also going to open up the microphone, and for the benefit of the viewers. And we need to through a lot of security forces. That's the reason why we have shortened the. 
opening up period. I hope that all the viewers could come to the bank of Huangpujiang River to have a real experience of Shanghai's celebration, Shanghai's work, to celebrate the 100 years birthday of Communist Party of China. So we are seeing that there is a lot of visitors here on the bank of Huangpujiang River. And another question is that if you come here, where will you choose to stand here on the bank? I have introduced to you that for the 1.5 kilometers bank of Baitan, you can see that. And also for the other side of the bank, you can also see that. Personally, I think that for the areas between Nanjing Road to the Yan'an Road, it is going to be the best. And I also suggest you to take a river trip to sit on the ship, and I think it is also going to be a very different lightning show. Thank you very much, Director Ding, for your wonderful answer. So it is actually a most choice for the visitors to view from the Pusi district to the Pudong district, and it is also very helpful to select that. I think that to choose the shape to view about that, it is also a very unique choice. So I suggest you to take a shape journey. So and you are going to enjoy a beautiful musical display because there are so many visitors on the bank. They create a lot of noise to the background music. But if you are sitting on the ship, sitting in the river, you are going to enjoy the music better. So just as Director Ding has introduced to us, to view this lightning show, you must have a hearing about the music. So if you are viewing Pusi from Pudong, you are going to have a historic understanding toward the history of Shanghai. It is going to be a very different style, and the lightning style is also going to be quite different. So I think Director Ding could not stop about his speech about the lightning show. I think it is a discussion and dialogue with a lot of information. So finally, we can invite you to promote this lightning show. How do you promote this lightning show of Shanghai? Dear viewers with CGTN, the theme lightning show of the Waitan River, it is actually a celebrated gift for the peoples of Shanghai to the celebrated 100 years birthday of the Communist Party of Shanghai. I think if you enjoy this lightning show, you are going to enjoy the leadership of our party and, in, and love our country further. We hope to meet with you. And on the bank of the Huangpujiang River, thank you very much, Director Ding, for your wonderful introduction. I think once you have viewed this lightning show, you are going to share the same feeling with Director Ding. And I think that here, just as what we have depicted on the building, I love my country, I love Shanghai, and I love the Communist Party of China. I believe the notion is going to be echoed in the people's hearts once this lightning show has been played on. So no matter how much we introduced, we hope to invite you to come to the lightning show. Even if you are also viewing our live streaming, it cannot be replacing you first experience. I hope the viewers could come to Shanghai and could come to our lightning show. The lightning show always followed by the leadership of the party, starting from the 30th of the June to the 5th of the July. Welcome. Thank you.
party of China and it deviates from CDTN. And here in the mountainous city of Chongqing, all the building has been lighting up to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Here I am actually standing on the Yuzhong district and across the river, it is going to be the Jiangbeizhui. And across the Jialingjiang River, we are displaying the lightning show to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. So through the camera, you can see the image demonstrating to celebrate the 100 years anniversary. So I'm going to give you a detailed interpretation toward this lightning show. I also want to introduce you some of the environment during our streaming. We are here at the Yuzhong Peninsula. It is actually called the Jiabing Route. And for around 200 meters across here, I think it is the location of the Hongya Dong, a tourism a spot of Chongqing. Tonight, the lightning show has attracted a lot of local citizens to visit. We could see that this area has been joined by a lot of visitors on the Bingjiang Road. And for the area of Chongqing, because it's not, the COVID-19 pandemic has not affected the city's operations. So through this vast river surface, we could see the display of the lightning show. We are going to show you the beautiful lightning show and also our beautiful mountain city. This is only a few seconds for the lightning show in the Jiangbeizui. And we have recorded a video about the lightning show in Chongqing. So we are going to show you the footage that we recorded before. So this is the lightning show across the Chongqing. It is an aerial view celebrating the 100 years anniversary. The theme for this time has been divided into four chapters. And the first chapter is celebrating the 100 years anniversary not forgetting the initial purpose of the Communist Party of China. This is actually the first chapter. And for the second chapter, starting, the party has been looked back its 100 years journey from the 2021 to the 1921 till the founding of the People's Republic of China in the year 1949. This is actually the third chapter to tell us about the new era and new journey. On the fourth chapter, it is about our 100 years journey to initiate this stage. It is actually echoing from the first chapter to the fourth chapter. So you are seeing the Hongyadong tourism spot of the Yuzhong district. It is one of the most visited in the Chongqing city. It has around, for around 30 different tourism spots. And it is actually a place to display the Christmas for the Chongqing. And it is creating a feeling of the paradise on the earth, attracting visitors across the country. And you can see the platform of Hong Yadong. And a lot of viewers is actually standing on that platform to view this Hongyadong because in Chongqing, across the major city, the beautiful lightning is being demonstrating to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Uh, against the backdrop of the Hongyadong, we could see the top building of Chongqing. It is the global financial center of Chongqing. And it has been uh, and 
we have put some of the wordings on top of that to celebrate the 100 years birthday of the Chongqing and 100 years journey of ups and downs. So this is actually the CBD of Chongqing, Yuzhong District. It is actually representing the most prosperous region of Chongqing because of the local terrain. It is high in the middle and lower in the two different veins. That's the reason why it is reflecting the beauties of the Chongqing. And to its core, it is the map of the liberations of our people. It marks the liberation, the war of liberation in our country. And from the constructions of the mountainous city to the Great West Forward Movement. It marks the journey to liberate our city and it also marks the red DNA in our city. For the screens sitting alongside the Liberation Memorial, we could see a lot of lightning and we are seeing another side of the Yuzhong Peninsula. These are some of the constructive areas for the Changbing Road. And this is what we call the Du Yun Ground Bridge, creating and connecting the western part of Chongqing together with the eastern part of Chongqing. It is actually a bridge used for the railways and also for the vehicles. So at night, the red railways is created is traveling and tracking across the bridge. It is one of the best images in our city, and you could also enjoy the best night views in Chongqing. With the nail lightning shining across the river, and you can see the citizens taking photos to celebrate the 100 years birth of the Communist Party of China. This is a city of a dynamism. And this is also the most visited tourism spot. You can see a very huge poster for celebrating the 100 years anniversary. It is to the south bank of Chongqing. And on this track, there are so many citizens and visitors come here and they have take photos to celebrate the 100 years anniversary. And you can take this rivers and shapes and you could see some of the huge photos created on the river bank to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. It has us to review the beautiful and happy life that we enjoy today. Now we are seeing the Nanping Road of Chongqing. This is a road spread for 20 kilometers, covers a lot, 50 different historic sites in Chongqing, including the liberation spots, and it has been restored. While it also blends with the backdrop of the mountain and river, it becomes one of the beautiful views to the two sides of the river banks. So here, on the lightning walls, you can see that there are some of the wordings as the river rings forward, our party and our nation is also going to ring forward. These are the major landmark of Chongqing. All of it has been lighting up to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. The night of the city with mountains and rivers has attracted and capture the heart of many visitors. They are working on the Bingjiang Road to view the beautiful scenery to celebrate the 100 years journey. So this is what we call the locus square of the Banan district. There is a transparent locus lightning sitting in the middle. 
against the backdrop. It is the Xi Wenchuo town with a hundred years history. All of them are witnessing this important moment to celebrate the 100 years anniversary of our party. And we could see that this beautiful Lucas sitting at the center at the heart of the Huanan Square. The live streaming that we we view from to you is only a part of the lightning show in Chongqing. I think on the different district of the Chongqing, we have the footage displayed, and today is going to be the most beautiful, most splendid night of the city of Chongqing. Let's go back to the river banks. This is actually the Grand Theater of Chongqing. The Grand Theater of Chongqing is the tenth spot to be celebrated in Chongqing, and there is actually wording demonstrating and it's actually being reflecting on the river. The Communist Party of China is works for the people and they are of the people and serving for the purpose of the people. Dear viewers, this is only a tip of the iceberg for the lightning show. Let's come back to where I am standing here as the night is coming closer and becoming darker. The lightning show is continuing with the tourists taking footage. I could see that on the Jiaming Road there are so many tourists sitting here to view this beautiful city about the celebrations of the 100 years anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Tonight, as we are here through this li live streaming, the lightning show has been lighted up, but at night, So there is actually an increase of the visitors. Today is only a week day. I think it is not the vacation days. There is going to if we it is the weekend. There is going to be so many people, and it is the Hongyadong lining ahead of us. We are going to work you toward the Hongyadong. We are actually heading toward the Hongyadong to give the viewers a view toward the Hongyadong. Today, the Hongyadong has been all lighting up, so it is more splendid than its usual days. So on the Tianzimen Ground Bridge, it is actually a bridge of the two purposes, to be used by the highways and to be used by the railways. It is one of the beautiful scenery in the city of Chongqing, and it's also echoing with the Chongqing. And I could see that there is a lot, actually, uh, as we are heading toward Hong Yadong, more and more visitors are gathered up here. Because Chongqing is at a lower risk region. So 
even if we are at, actually at the COVID-19 period, so the majority of visitors did not wear the medical mask. As we are seeing that the Tianzimen Ground Bridge and also the Great Theater of Chongqing is actually lining ahead of us because of the great terrain of Chongqing, no matter for its office buildings or the residential buildings, they are built on top of their terrains. So this is actually a connecting point toward the ground theaters. This is what we call a top 10 views. It is what we call a lightning show for the 10 different buildings showing the same content because of the terrains, the ground theater is a little bit separating with the other nine buildings and at its middle the ground bridge is actually breaking through this is also a very unique night show and there's a lot of visitors taking photos photos here if we follow our cameras the Tianzimen Ground Bridge is connecting the Yuzhong Peninsula with the Jiangmenzui. And then to our right side, it is the Hongyadong. At night, the Hongyadong tourism spot is glittering with the golden color. It is like a paradise on earth. There are so many visitors gathering up here because we are viewing from the lower perspective and if we view the Hong Yadong area from the Global Financial Center, it is going to be another view and on the Global Financial Center, they are displaying another areas because we are sitting below the Hong Yadong areas. We could not see the views of the Global Financial Center. So we have show you the bird eye view of the Hong Yadong. I am here live streaming below the Hong Yadong tourism spot. So on top of the Hong Yadong, there is another platform. It is also going to demonstrate the beautiful sceneries across the river, and it's also going to be a very important scenery to celebrate 100 years anniversary. So here, it gathers up up a lot of visitors. Today is not a weekend, and it's going to be more people on the weekend. Let's turn back our camera to the lightning show, the theme of the lightning show. For the nine different views in the Jiangbeizui area, by connecting them together, it is the facade first kit of 10 different office buildings. Generally speaking, it is actually like creating a super huge screen on the northern part of the river. It is a must visit for the viewers. So let's work here gradually to let the viewers have an understanding of Chongqing for you to understand the beauties of Chongqing. So I could see that if you could see the nine different swings of the Jiangbeizui, the northern part of the river, you can see that the nine different buildings is displaying that historic journey of the Communist Party of China and the Jiangbeizui, nine different swings of on the nine different buildings is being connected to the southern part of the river through the ground bridge. It is actually the first Cross River Bridge in Chongqing, constructed by the Communist Party of China around 50 years ago, and later on for around 30 different buildings born after it. And Chongqing is also being called with the capital for bridge. Just as what I have shown you, the Tianzimen Ground Bridge and also the Dongximen Ground Bridge is celebrating the red color. So it actually embodies the atmosphere of celebration. I could see that all the visitors are is here to celebrate this ground view. 
to view this beautiful scenery. There are other different viewers taking photos. The white. I, I, I should say that for this part of the bank of the river, it is improving and we need a larger and more spacious areas for the viewers and for the visitors. That's the reason why we have reconstructed this street, this pedestrian street. And finally, let me see something about the 100 years anniversary lightning show. So we are seeing the ground lightning show to celebrate the 100 years anniversary. It has been divided into four different chapters, starting from the year 1921st, when the Communist Party of China has been formed, in 1949, when the People's Republic of China was founded, and in 1979, when the China adopted the opening up and reform policy, and in 2008, when China has started a new journey. and. This has also marked the different stage for the development of the city of Chongqing. The city is going to become more splendid. So I have brought to you the lightning show of the Chongqing city's 100 years celebrations of the Communist Party of China. So finally, I invite you to have a view of this beautiful lightning show.